What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. I tried installing Android 12 GSI on OnePlus 9 series but failed to do that and I'll tell you the reason behind it. But there's another method by which you can try out Android 12 on your OnePlus 9 series. Before starting would like to thank you guys for 500 likes on a previous video. Nowadays support from you guys is next level. So thank you so much guys. And let's again keep a like target of 200. And guys still we haven't been able to see much difference in the graph of subscribed and non subscribed users. So guys it's a humble request do consider subscribing a channel so now let's not waste much of time we'll start with the android 12 installation process okay first let me tell you guys why i am unable to flash gsi on oneplus 9 So here you can see I have my OnePlus 9, and the main reason behind not able to flash GSI images is this Project Treble support. Though as far as I know, OnePlus 9 series have two partitions A and B, and I think it also supports Project Treble. But I don't know why. If I use this application called Treble Check, this says Project Treble is not supported. So this is the reason I'm not able to flash GSI image on OnePlus 9 series. But there's another way to flash and try out Android 12 on your OnePlus 9 series, and that's using DSU method. And DSU means Dynamic System Update. It's a system feature introduced by Google using this method. You can download a new GSI, and this method will automatically create a new partition. I'll also show you the partition size. What's being created after installing this GSI? This GSI won't be flashed on your main system partition. It will create an guest OS on the device, and you can easily switch back to Oxygen OS without affecting the data. But there's a condition to install GSI using DSU method, and that's your device bootloader should be unlocked. If you try with locked bootloader, then you won't be able to boot your device into OS. You have to completely flash the stock OS once again. So make sure your device bootloader is unlocked before proceeding. If your device bootloader is unlocked, You need to go to settings about section tap on the build number 7 times until you see your app developer now after that go to system developer options and here under developer option you will find this option of DSU loader once you tap on it this will give you two options in which the first option is without google apps and the second option is with google apps so basically dsu method is used for developers to try out and test their applications on latest android version it can't be used as daily driver and if you guys want to try it out or to have a taste of android 12 you can use this method so here select any of these options i personally had selected this one once you select the package in the status bar you'll see dynamic system update Installation in progress. So let's wait for the installation to complete, and then we'll boot a device into Android 12. So now the installation process has been completed. You can just tap on restart, and then your device will boot into Android 12. And there we go. We have the initial setup. Just connect it to your Wi-Fi, and it'll be good to go. So this is going to be the first look of your Android 12 on OnePlus 9 series. You won't get the exact UI what we have seen on Android 12. First let me show you the software information and here you can see Android version of Android 12 security patch is 5th August 2021 build number says SPB 4.2 that means it's based on Android 12 beta 4.1 first let me show you why we can't use it as daily driver and the main reason behind it is storage as we all know DSU method creates an dynamic partition and here the partition size is 8 GB in which system has occupied 6.4 GB And if you start installing applications, you'll have a message or pop-up related to insufficient storage. So this is one of the main reason by which you can't use it as daily driver. And another major thing is that you won't be able to make calls. But if you guys want to give it a try, you can use the DSU method to install Android 12. Though you'll get to see the new quick setting panel, and the launcher is also outdated. Here we get the launcher, which is Quick Step Launcher. If you use the DSU method. you'll see some old stuff on your device like when you long press on the home screen we have this rectangular tiles but if you take a look on pixel device here we have the rounded corners and if you flash the raw gsi that will give you an complete different experience i'm not going in depth of this os which i have installed on my oneplus 9 there are lots of videos available on android 12 You guys can just check out those videos and take a look at the features of Android 12 using DSU method will not give you all the features of Android 12. You can just have a taste of the same. And now talking about how to go back to the previous version. So once you install this GSI using DSU method, in the notification panel itself you'll see dynamic system update currently running a dynamic system. Restart to use the original Android version. So just tapping on restart your device will boot into the previous OS which was installed on your device. So let's tap on it. And here we go. We have successfully booted on our previous OS. And let me show you 
none of the files have been affected you can see the screenshots available on my previous os so guys this way you can try out android 12 on your oneplus 9 series other than this we don't have any method to flash gsi on oneplus 9 series if i am able to flash it i'll for sure do a dedicated video also very soon we are going to see android 12 open beta for oneplus 9 series so guys this was a quick look on how to get android 12 using dsu method on oneplus 9 series if you still have any kind of questions let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video